Science 5, Sexual Reproduction in Animals. Objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to differentiate sexual from asexual reproduction, describe internal and external fertilization, classify animals as oviparous, ovoviviparous, and viviparous. Can you recall how humans reproduce or produce offspring? Correct. Egg cell from females and sperm cell from male should meet and fertilize. From the fertilized egg, the human baby forms. Since humans need fertilization to reproduce, humans reproduce sexually. Have you ever wondered if there are other living things that also produce sexually? Or do you wonder if there are other ways of reproducing offspring? Great! You are in the right video lesson. Today you will learn the answers to these questions. Reproduction among animals. Reproduction is the process wherein living things create or produce an offspring. Offspring are new living things that look like their parents. Like you, a young human that looks like your parents or the parent and young cat. Reproduction is needed for the continuous survival of a certain group of living things. Reproduction of non-plant living things can be sexual or asexual. Asexual reproduction wherein a single parent can produce its own offspring, identical to the parent's characteristics. This process does not need two sex cells, unlike in sexual reproduction. Examples of animals that reproduce asexually include starfish and worms. Sexual reproduction which needs fertilization or the combination of male and female sex cells to produce an offspring. It results to offspring that share characteristics of both the female and male parents. Examples of animals that reproduce sexually include cow, chicken, fish. Types of fertilization Internal fertilization happens when a male animal releases its sperm cells inside the body of a female animal to fertilize an egg cell. This type of fertilization occurs inside the parent animal's body, often in the female body. The fertilized egg matures and develops into a full young offspring in three possible ways. Oviparity Ovoviviparity Viviparity In oviparity, the fertilized egg forms a hard shell and yolk inside together with the developing offspring. Oviparous animals lay fertilized eggs. These eggs develop and hatch into young individuals outside of the parent's body. Oviparous animals include birds, the platypus, and most reptiles and fish. In ovo vivi parity. The fertilized egg forms a shell and yolk inside with the developing offspring similar with oviparous animals. But the female parent keeps the egg inside her body. The offspring develop within the egg with the yolk as source of its nourishment. At the time of birth, the eggs may hatch along with the release of the egg, making it look like a live birth or the egg may hatch before or after releasing the egg. Ovoviviparous animals include specific fish like sand tiger sharks and manta rays, a few amphibians like the Suriname toad, and some reptiles like vipers and garter snakes, and many invertebrates. Like in ovo vivi parity, animals that undergo viviparity, develop the offspring inside the female parent. But unlike in ovoviviparous animals, the fertilized egg does not form a hard shell and yolk. This means that the offspring receives nourishment through the parent's body, via the placenta. Viviparous animals include most mammals and scorpions. External fertilization happens when the female and male parents release their sex cells into an external environment, where fertilization takes place. 
It usually takes place in water to prevent the sex cells from drying out. Frogs and most fish, crustaceans, mollusks, and squid undergo external fertilization. Practice exercise. Tell whether each pair of parent and offspring animal is oviparous, ovoviviparous, or viviparous. 1. House gecko 2. Oviparous 2. Manta ray Ovoviviparous 3. Goat Viviparous 4. Viper snake Ovoviviparous 5. Duck Oviparous.